And welcome back to the stream, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'm going to be back with Sly 2 again. Uh, we're probably going to get past... There's eight levels. I think we're probably going to get done the second and most of the third. Uh, and then maybe we can do like the end of three, maybe four and five uh, in another stream. Uh, so that's probably going to be the plan. Uh, thanks for supporting Ebony Bird, the Jet Press, however you choose to share your support. That is much appreciated. Uh, Jet Press podcast today was really good. Um, for those of you that don't know, um, Miko Hardman, who used to play for the Jets and now apparently fancies himself the ultimate authority on how to build a winning team with the Chiefs. He basically just said the Jets were like the worst thing ever. So, uh, I, I tore into him best I could. Uh, hey, he may have said some valid things in there about the Jets, but, I mean, it, it just seemed, came off as like a disgruntled employee who's mad he got cut. It's a pretty good, epi it's a pretty good uh, episode. One of our best in a while, in my, in my humble opinion. Another clockwork part had surfaced in India, so the boys and I loaded up the van and zeroed in on our next target, a mysterious spice lord known as Rajan. A self-made man who grew up poor on the streets of Calcutta, he started his life a crime selling illegal spices in the black market, eventually growing his small outfit to a sizable operation and earning himself a seat in the prestigious Claw Gang. He since crowned himself Lord of the Hills and while he goes to great lengths to convince others of his Lord of the Hills is a pretty badass to convince himself. True to form, he's holding a lavish ball in his newly purchased ancestral palace. The reason? To show off his latest acquisition, the clockwork wings. The symbol of my enemy. If you saw the wings silhouetted against the night sky, it was already too late for you. Especially if your name was Cooper. So did clockwork kill all of the Coopers? I feel like he did. John believes because he was also a mystery. No one really knew about him, right? Maybe they will, but they're also bringing me. Gonna get a little fancy in this episode. I should put on that suit I only wear for special occasions because I work from home, so I don't need to wear a suit. But the last time I wore it was even even like a button down was my cousin's wedding in September, and it's March tomorrow, so it was a while ago. Don't like the music on this stage that much. Feels very generic and not really, uh... Like, I, Slide 2, I think, is probably the best game in the series. I think it has the worst music. Oh, the poop jump for Murray. You'll, we'll see. You'll, that'll make sense a little, <laughs> a little bit. You think I forget one of the Cooper family's greatest thief moves? Whenever hey, Bucko, you didn't even know until two years ago. ...and hit the circle button to perform a ninja spire landing. That's correct. Now let's see it in action. I don't, I don't remember liking the bottles in this level because they're very... Very all over the place. And this, and then actually, not even trying to be funny, one of my least favorite levels in all of Sly is... You're, you're in India for two levels. And uh, the one after this one is di disgusting. And detestable. Just impossible to get around. Oh, 
it's up there. Oh, so you see, like, right there. There's one up there. I can't just go up. I gotta go across and then up. I do like how in this game, if you break a bottle of guards here, it makes noise. Nice little added touch. Oh. Oh. Those big elephants, if you... they have like spotlights. Oh, crud. Damn it. If you're in the spotlight, then, then more guards come out. Not a problem. There seem to be plenty of branches for me to walk on. I'll figure it out. Oh, another bottle? Yeah, I'll get him. I'm with you right now. I even heard more bottles. That that tinking sound drive me crazy. Easy does it, Sly. Just don't go out onto that balcony, and you should remain undetected. An electronic witch that could be useful. Looks like the wings have been welded onto that statue. Wow. How do you get that good? Oh, crud, missed him. They look heavy. Another Getting great observation. Here will be a real challenge. Biting commentary here. That's him. Rajat's really pulled out all the stops to impress people with this party. Maybe you should get some shots of the guests. Get five of them. Contessa, she'll come up later. That's the Contessa, a high-ranking prison warden for Interpol. She must be working undercover to expose Rajan's spice ring. Carmelita, all dolled up. She must be undercover with the Contessa to help bust Rajan. Good, good guests. <laughs> well. Leela, another officer undercover. Blowing out her hair like there, huh? Yeah, look at the look at these dignified guests. He's a claw gang guy. John B. Song, a member of the claw gang and Canadian shipping baron. He owns half the trains in Canada. And he's claw gang too. Arpeggio specializes in exotic technology. That's all the photos I need. Bring them back to the safe house, and we'll start building a game plan. Boom, 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 boom. Stealing the clockwork wings in the middle of a crowded ballroom is going to take some serious misdirection. And the squad of undercover cops only makes things more complicated. 
Although, we might be able to use them to our advantage. But no matter what we do in the ballroom, sooner or later we'll need to deal with Rajan's security chopper. Murray can take it out with some of the local armaments, but he won't be able to get inside the palace until Sly lowers the drawbridge for him. Well, let's get the drawbridge lowered. Also, I've been obsessed with that whole Willy Wonka AI, like, story. Have you guys been following this? The long and short of it is basically a company, it's called, like, House of Illuminati, some weird name. They advertise this, like, immersive Willy Wonka chocolate experience, which is Willy, because they couldn't say Willy Wonka legally. But, you know, there was supposed to be, you know, chocolate and candy and stuff for the kids and all that, and it was supposed to be in Glasgow, and they had this... This art of what it was supposed to look like, like this big, almost like a Disney World, kind of like 3D, immersive-y kind of thing. But then you could tell it was AI, because again, AI art has that, like, a... It has a very distinctive look. Like, you can tell, like, everything's very glossy and shiny. So, they charge like 40 pounds, I think it was. I don't know how much it is in dollars, but it's close. 40 pounds, and they get there, and there's maybe 2% of what is promised is there. There's literally, like, oh, let, let's at least get this mission out of the way first. Murray and I can't get inside the palace unless you lower the drawbridge. I'd love to, pal, but the winch is all locked down. You know where I can find the keys? Key guards have recently taken up positions around the palace. Sneak in, pick all of their pockets, and bring the keys back to the lockdown winch. More pickpocketing, so the same exact thing we did in the last mission. Okay. Good variety. So anyway, like they get there, there's just like it looks like just screenshots from the game Candyland almost. Just hanging out there, like on top of a wall in a warehouse. Literally a warehouse in in Glasgow. Like it it's maybe five percent decorated. Everything's very token. There's only like four or five actors there. And even that, they were the actors even said they were only given the script like one day in advance. And it was all AI script. The villain was like this weird ghost guy who scared the kids when he came out. It was kind of hilarious, if we're being honest. And um, there were a bunch of... Oh, oh yeah, like the kids were given one jelly bean and a quarter cup of lemonade. Which, you know, that's a Willy Wonka experience. That was more patronizing. Like, to do that, then to give them nothing. I'd be more mad. So, yeah, the guy, obviously... It, it was obviously a scam, and the guy's like, Oh, we... You know, the guys who were, we were going to set the event up with screwed us, but it's like, you, you knew this was a scam. But I'm kind of going back and forth on this. Like, I, I go back and forth because, like, I do genuinely feel awful for, like, kids. Some people said they drove a couple hours. Like, there were little kids there. And, like, even the actor said, like, the only reason that he did it, and the actors did it, because they knew they weren't going to get paid because this was a scam. Like, when they realized it, they're like, let's at least just... Like, there's kids here. Like, let's at least try and give them something. And I respect that. So it's like, I feel awful for them. But at the same time, too, like, it was so obviously... A scam. And it's like, you don't feel as bad because it's like... You need to you need to research and you need to do your homework. But like, it, like I literally, for today, I was just Googling like Wonka and just scrolling down. It looked like a meth lab. There was just one Oompa Loompa actress. Trying her tandest. Really shambolic. You don't mind me saying so. Like, I mean, we've all gone to things that, like, you know, you... you 
you know, you think it's going to be better than it is and you're let down by it. Like, nothing, like, nothing like this. And I've just been Googling, not Googling, Twitter searching just Wonka. Because there's so much shit. It's like, it's, it's hilarious how bad it, like... It's like that Dashcon shit with the ball pit from a while back, if anybody's been on the internet long enough to remember that. Oh, it was so good. But maybe this is just how my brain works. Like, if you wanted to, I feel like there's enough, like, online weird guys in the world where if you just put on... Like, do it ironically. Like, just have that every year. Or just the posters, it, like, like, everything, everything exactly the same. The, the AI script, the everything. And just did it ironically every year, like in, like, a Plan 9 from Outer Space or, like, the Room kind of fashion. I feel like it might actually be attended pretty well. It'll become, like, a, like a niche thing, like Plan 9 or, like, I don't know, like a Gathering of the Juggalos meetup. Last one. Oh, it's all the way over there. Anything for me? Nope. Okay. Like, the only- I'm trying to figure out which story from the last year was funnier. That, or the one where those NFT guys had, like, that rave, that party, but, like, it had all, like, UV lights, and their people got overexposed, and, like, some people went blind from it. I'm trying to figure out which was funnier. I, I really don't know. Flack. I love the comic book onomatopoeia. Oh, there he is. I've been looking for so long. Can I make that jump? Yes, I can! How about that? Apologies if you heard something in the background. That was I have this weird I have these like two really old lamps uh in my living room where like my one of my grandparents gave them to me when I got the apartment. But um for some reason, like it's one of those ones where it has multiple settings, like you just you know tick the uh, the dial. But Alright, let me see. Alright, yeah. Fist of flame L1 and then you'll see why it's called that. Because it looks like he's about to poop himself when he does this jump. So first, yeah, the, the Fist of Flame, and that awesome, look at that fire animation, holy shit. <laughs> High quality graphics. You just punch, and then dead. Now, that's not how you can normally jump, but with the poop jump, or the turnbuckle jump, you can soar to new heights. I mean, come on, that looks like he's... Right? I know we, I named it when I was a kid, but I mean... Come on now. Yes! Oh, what a way to... 
to go. Didn't I just hear a... I guess not. in mid-air. That was cool. No! I got up there and the game still didn't let me get up there. Talking, Bentley. Hit buttons fast to keep your strength up. Use the left analog stick to aim and hold down the R1 button to fire. But be careful. If you continue firing for too long, I hate how they're only inverted vertically. So is something wrong with my capture card? Because I feel like that bar is supposed to be centered. And it very much is not. Or is this just part of like how this had a bunch of weird... Like this, this is a weird port. Right? Like it, it's like slightly off to the left. What am I... What's going on here? I love how there's just a shootout. It's a military attack helicopter in the middle of wherever we are, Mumbai or Bangalore or generic Indian town that also has an ancestral palace. as sharp as I once was this time. Also, I like how this is preparing you for... There's like some Bentley missions where you gotta use the turret, so like, why is Murray doing it? And yeah, these missiles actually do a lot of damage, so you gotta... You gotta take them out. Sapphires? Is that a song? What song is that? Is that Fleetwood Mac? Is that Stevie Next by Herself? Oh my good golly gosh! What the hell?
Okay. Now well, I think that's it. Let me try this one more time. Cause that was. Oh. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Ah, some ballroom dancing. I remember one time my grandmother almost signed me up for ballroom dancing classes for some reason. <laughs> Which I've never done and I don't really have an interest to do because I actually hate dancing. It's like actually an anxiety thing and I like hate dancing. So like if I'm at like a wedding, like I just straight up won't. I don't care how awkward I look, I just straight up won't dance. And I don't care. They're like, oh it's a good skill to have. I'm like, really? I haven't had two yet. Hello, I'm here for the dance. Oh. Sorry, sir, but we have a dress code. You got a tuxedo? You got a tuxedo, boo? Uh, no. Sorry, pal. No tux, no entry. Sorry, pal, boo. What a dope. Don't beat yourself up, Bentley. At a party this ritzy, there has to be a spare penguin suit around here somewhere. Try the guest house. Someone may have overpacked. You ever accidentally pack another tuxedo? Like, I hate when that happens. Okay, Bentley. I'm in position inside the guest house. Have any intel for me? Oh, uh, well, I recommend searching all the rooms. It's statistically probable that each should hold at least one portion of a tuxedo. What do I look for inside the rooms? This isn't an exact science. Ransack the place until you find part of a tuxedo. Any plan which involves ransacking is okay with me. Attention, guys. This is Lord Rajan. The party here is in full swing and all visitors are now in the ballroom. Now, when this ball may be on the up and up, not all of the guests are. So be on careful look out for brothers. I don't want any bad press from this event. Sly villains love to call people prowlers. Combat. Alright, I think this one's in here. You guys gotta like smash everything and then eventually one part comes down. I'm trying to remember. Here. God, there's a specific location for each of them too. Uh, oh, this one's gotta be this. Nope. Nope. Oh my god. Not the dresser, it's not the sink. Ah, oh, yep. Well, at least you got the jacket. They'll probably let you in with the jacket. Oh. I just tried to press circle to dodge. <laughs> Thank you, Spider-Man. Thank you, Guardians of the Galaxy. I 
This one, I think, is in here. Here. Here? Damn it. It's in here. Yep. <laughs> so excited I just knocked my phone off. What it was. All right. Camera. Okay. Sending security into people's rooms? Into one of those black silhouettes? Heh! Damn it. Ah! Damn it. It's not in the potted plant. broken yet. Eh? Eh? Yep. Wait, I got a jacket, I got a bow tie, and what else do I got? Gloves, I think? Pick some pockets. This one's got to be in the dresser. Yep. So what am I missing? The shoes or the shirt? I forget which one I already had. He live in the guest house. And if he doesn't, why does he have a room that's only for him in his guest house, which he doesn't stay in? Does he have his pet snake? So many questions. That's it. Now that you've got a complete tuxedo, the doormat will let you into the ballroom. Wait, where am I going? I gotta go out. What am I doing? <laughs> I could 
Okay. Did I hear another one? Tuxedo now, sir? Of course I do. I'm here to dance. Then come on in. Big dumb lug. Your tuxedo disguise is working perfectly. No one will recognize you in that outfit. How? Now, How will no one recognize him? Just the girl for the job. Constable Neela, you look lovely this evening. I'm sorry. Do I know you? Oh, come I on. Chase after you back in Paris. Paris? Sly Cooper? The you voice, too? Like, he's like, not even doing, doing like a Batman change in voice. Would fall out of her dress. As good as that sounds, how about a dance first? Enchanté. Okay, we got some rhythm game. Whoa, they were making out already. Okay. Try to so what is this, the Viennese waltz or something? Now or what is this, a fox trot? Or I guess a raccoon trot? I'm very cultured, you can tell. Or at least what is this called? Somebody who knows. I, I would like to know. Oh, so this doesn't look awkward at all, just pausing. To get at old Ironsides. Yes, I am. Do you mind? Not at all. Also, oh, really lively party. No one's on the dance floor. They're all just watching me. Violin. Delicious. Now what's that supposed to mean, Neela? That fellow. You weren't there before. If only you moved spice shipments as well. Er, silence. You corn-fed Canadian. Literally the only two dances that I know, like that I know the names of, are the Waltz and the Foxtrot, yes. so there's not one of them. This also sounds like italian -y music. Yeah, it should be on like a Venetian canal. Nice. Oh yeah, the, the spinner, my favorite move. Delightful. Thank you, Constable Neela. After all, it takes two to tango. Yes, and three is always a crowd. Neela, your friend here is quite. Your friend. I tried to make Miss him Fox. Him. Please, Neela. His skills far surpass you. Perhaps later you and I might share a dance, Miss. How do you not know? Miss Fox. Carmelita Fox. And I accept. Jeez, Carmelita. 
You, for, you need better deduction skills here. All right, boys, we're ready for the next phase. My plan to get at the clockwork wings requires the use of the electric winch above the ballroom. To get control over the device, I'll need to hack the computers in Rajan's boardroom. Plus, we'll need an extra strong saw blade to cut the wings off the statue. To make a saw blade that durable, I'll need Sly to steal the gems off the headdresses on Rajan's prized elephants. And finally, I'll take to the field with my remote control helicopter and nullify the palace's surface-to-air defenses. That should clear things up for the heist. What else? What can I have? Okay. Okay, I hear something. They, re they really want you to be sly to get all these things. I know there's one up there, there's one over there, so that's two of the three I have left. Chopper. All systems are go to neutralize their surface-to-air defenses. We're going to need free reign of the sky during the heist. Well, be careful. Chopper parts aren't cheap. Hostile has been sighted. Hey, Bentley, use the left analog stick to steer the chopper and hit the X button to I know, it's my RC! If you lose track of the Jeep, I'll project a holographic targeting arrow. Follow it back into the action. Whoa! Hard turn. Oh my god. Launching missiles. Turn hard to dodge them. I remember this one being easier. Wasn't very difficult. <laughs> trying to think, like, where haven't I been yet?
these two these two bottles. Like, how do I get to that? I thought I did. I guess Mari just wasn't meant to, because slide jump, no problem. That's strange. How can they see me? Check over here first. I know it, it's in that the vault is in that like that mission right there. It's just a matter of finding it. It's here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Corrected. This is actually probably easier than the other one. steps and find an alternate route. He's really rampaging, huh? That's not even rampaging, that's just walking. Whenever I hear that word now, I just think of that Archer episode where he thinks he has cancer and then he finds out that like the drugs weren't real, so he just goes rampage and starts killing people. God, Archer is such a good show. Admittedly, yeah, it's one. Admittedly, I tuned out around season, where I'm watching it all the time, around season, like, seven-ish. The one where he got shot, and then they did, like, they were into the, like, the dream worlds. Like, they were cool, but just, you know, not... Like, they were creative, just not what I, you know, come to Archer for. I mean, they're still funny, but, like, the first... Like, four seasons are immaculate. And, I mean, it's a sh they did get screwed by a couple things in real life, so I gotta give them credit for still doing that. I mean, they were called ISIS, you know, before actual... You know, actual ISIS was a thing, so they had to change that. You know, a big part of their storyline and all that. And then, you know, a couple actors died, like, you know, uh, well, Woodhouse was one, and then... 
Mallory's voice actor, actress, Jessica Walter from Arrested Development. Who's basically the same character, but it's quite funny. Krieger was always my favorite. And not just because I'm a big Rush fan. But yeah, Krieger was always my favorite. Daddy! Six seems a little repetitive. Back here, elephant. Ah, damn it. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, my God. So yeah, I go. Oh yeah, back, uh, back there. Ton features. So we'll be it's too late, Bentley. Call him fat. From the inside. I've heard through a reliable source that the guards keep the vault combination written beneath one of their break tables. So you want me to crawl on so the source? Huh? That's the idea. What's a hot tub? Jeez. Oh, you ever John this? He seems like. Very, it's very much like the Panda King in that, you know, international criminal, in this case a drug dealer with this spice stuff. But he seems like a pretty halfway decent employee to work for. <laughs> I think it's like all the way at the end, yeah. This is it. Some collections. I'd love to see the look on Rajan's face when he finds this vault empty. The code should be eight five seven. You've gotten the insanity strike move. Yeah, just if you hit a guard, it like with that, it like starts attacking the other guards. Thanks for 
for breaking us in, pal. The Murray approves. Let's get down to brass tacks. I need to hack both the vault room computers to get control of the electronic winch above the ballroom. So what are me and Sly here for? The second I enter their servers, they'll be on to us. You guys need to work together to keep the thugs off my back. You and me, pal, side by side. The Murray knows no fear. Okay, I'm in. Hacking the level six barrier. I'm just gonna stand around him and then if somebody comes close, I'm just gonna punch him. I think they wanted the combat to be a little more fast paced, but you know, you could just do this and be fine. Okay, I'm close. Changing back for level four access. Sorry, Sly. I actually hit Sly with that. I've never done that before. Huh, they kept the old health meter for Bentley. Curvy one. Okay there, Sly. Your AI bugging out? Both their AI are bugging out. Oh, now you're fine. Problem. Me and the big guy had it covered. Murray, let's hook up the direct feed and get out of here while the coast is clear. How was that a slide job? Okay, synchronize your watches. This heist is going to take extreme precision. Here's extreme the precision. I'll start things off by demolishing the palace's main bridge. That should cut off reinforcements from the guest house and hopefully distract the ballroom guard standing watch over the clockwork wings. Sly will then take Carmelita up on her offer for a dance, and while the crowd is transfixed by their tango, Murray will lower into the ballroom on the electronic winch. Once down, he'll cut the wings free and then winch back up for an exit. Murray should then make his way out of the palace. I'll cover his exit with the RC chopper. Once he's past the drawbridge, we're home free. Oh, it's a Bentley. But the operations are usually Bentley. To start.
Okay, Bentley. Murray and I are moving into position. You still think you can demolish something that large? It doesn't take an engineer to figure out how to blow up a bridge. I'll start by placing charges on all of the lower cleats. Once the structure destabilizes, those retainer rings on the upper cleats should pop right off. That should enable me to bomb all of the upper cleats, which will bring it all crashing down. Just watch your head when that thing gets unstable. We need that brain of yours in one piece. What is this music? Talking like Boy Scouts. Uh -oh. is starting to crumble. Better watch out like this is, or like, no. there was a movie where like the, like the main hero kid was like a fat kid, and then they like overcome that. Like this, th this would be in a scene of like them working out, and doing something active. cheap way to lose health. And it's three bombs will destroy one. Power you need and look into it. Murray, you in position? Check. How does no one see it? it? Like Damn, this is the most oblivious party Check. ever. Initiate phase two. I'll take care of Carmelita in the crowd. You handle the heavy. Carmelita lifting. can't tell what Sly looks like in disguise. Miss Fox, I believe you owe me a dance. And no About one sees time. a giant pink hippo sawing Just giant for the bird metal bird, bird wings off a statue. Oh, her eyes are closed, though. She into this. I don't see no floating hippo. Well, I mean, I do. I forget what I- okay. Wrong one. Whoops. <laughs> you look familiar to me. Are you in law enforcement? I often deal with police while on the job. Carmelita, how do you not- okay. And no, I don't even want to think about the- the deviant art stuff this has spawned because- there's a lot to see in the world. No need to waste it on that. Ah. X triangle X. Very discreet again. There's no, there's no sounds of metal being sawed. <laughs> oh, well, the, cr the crowd loves it. They demand more. Nice.
Okay, I think this is the last part. Tell me, stranger. What's your name? Why ruin the moment? Huh? I... I don't understand. The wings! The wings! What happened to the clockwork wings? What? How? Who could have... What? Cooper! <laughs> do, do, now, now it's this song again. Hurry, I'll cover your escape with the RC chopper. Let me worry about the guards. You just keep moving. Oh my god, just eesh. There was an ability to just like hover. That would be much appreciated. This is tense. Like I, I just gotta keep like spinning the stick. What just happened? How'd he die? Nobody hit did I bomb him? Mari has a straight shot and then goes around for shits and giggles. Yeah, wait, I didn't even pick up on that. I was so distracted by the Ranger Rick music. Oh, you know what I did? I dropped a bomb on Mari. That's what I did. Apparently he's not bomb proof. This is tense. Okay, Mari, since you want to be weird and take the long way. Just go, just go straight. Jeez. Who looked at this and said this is good controls? Okay. I mean, I do like this level, generally, but, like, maybe this is preparing you for the third one. Because the third one is not good. So, like, I know you like this level, but be prepared for bad ones coming up. Oh my god, I almost shot him again. How are they gonna fit in the van? You dropped a palm on me, baby. That's a good one. After the gang and I got away with the clockwork wings, Carmelita blew her cover and started making arrests left and right. Okay, I don't like how they drew her there. That was with there was a lot of skin showing. Rajan was forced to flee from his own party. He's now in hiding somewhere deep in the jungle. The gang and I took a break and headed for Bollywood. It took some doing, but we eventually snuck Murray onto the set of a full-blown Indian musical. I was happy the guys got to unwind, but Rajan was still out there. And somehow, I knew things were about to get tough. <laughs> Look at this fucking guy. Okay, I'm gonna try to get probably like maybe half of this done, maybe a little more than half, and then I'll probably call it a night. It took some detective work, but the gang and I managed to track down where Rajan had gone into hiding. Somehow, he'd managed to transform a long forgotten temple into the thriving center of his spice operation, and it's there where we'll find him. The jungle, too thick to drive through, forced us to walk a long distance to our target. We ran into a few problems along the way, but pushed on. I feel like quicksand only exists in like movies and games. More than just Rajan's hideout. I've never seen quicksand in real life. To the clockwork heart. A pump so strong and tireless, it could increase spice production tenfold. Good for Rajan, but awful for the rest of the world. 
hope he's not counting on that heart too much, because tonight it comes home with me. Go buy some stuff. Actually, I don't think I need any. And then why not? Now you get to see why this level's ass. Because everything is. Number one, the objective markers go that high up. You can never see what mission you're going into. Uh, everything's like vertical, so it's really hard to figure out where you are spatially. There's vines everywhere. Nothing's ever really straightforward. It's always like you gotta. Gotta do a lot of climbing and and shit just to get around. And the bottles are, are really hard to... Are really hard. Oh! I enjoyed Dimitri's level. I mean, Dimitri's level is one of the best in the game. Uh... Even though it's simple, like it's it's good in its simplicity. Uh, I like the la I like the Canada ones, but the first one especially. That's one of the, my favorites. In the not my favorite in the whole game is the first Canadian one. Uh, the last one's pretty good. The the Contessa ones are okay. For the the one where you start off as Bentley, which is coming up after this, is is the worst of the two. This guy, well, I think there's some bottles up here, and I'm I'm paranoid about the bottles. Oh no, there wasn't. No, there wasn't. Whoopsie Daisy. Naughty Churro in chat, do you mean the first Contessa level or the second one? Because, yeah, the first one's a little... a little weird. The second one's, like, cool because it's all gothic-looking. take a hidden passage over the front door any day. And the operation... without spoiling too much, the operation gets a little weird and creative. A hater in general. I mean, yeah, not a great character. The boss fight kind of sucks. It's it just walk up and hit her kind of thing. I feel like I could see the creepy spider woman Lego, being evil twist coming from a mile away. Now, from what I know of photosynthesis, all the expensive equipment should be found at the top of this room. What I do hate in the right. second Contessa level is those tanks that shoot at you. Those are annoying as hell. Actually, let me try something. Attack your friend. Kill each other. Come on. Destroy him! Damn it. Now let me destroy you. Well, that was fun. The driving is bad. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. The, the worst fucking tank controls in any video game. I don't know what psychopath thought that was a good idea. Also, what the hell? How, how do I get back up? I don't remember how to... Isn't there a vine? Yeah, there you go.
God, you just brought back horrors with those tank controls. You really didn't see me? Okay. One of the one of the problems I have with the Sly series is just like how there's so many different control schemes. Like every vehicle, every mode of transmission has some sort of unique way of controlling it. It's really annoying. I mean, it's not as bad as Sly 4. I mean, nothing's as bad as in this series of Sly 4, but... Dimitri and John Basson are carrying this game well and at the end. I wish Arpeggio got more time. What do you mean, don't you just press X and hit the circle button? I mean, that's for walking around, but like... Like, tanks and planes and turrets are all like... They all control differently to me. And they're just... I get it, it's product of the time. It's like 2000, you know, three or four when this came out, but... Respectfully, Sly 4 doesn't exist. Oh, it does, and it's bad. Bring those photos back to the safe house. I mentioned it before on stream, but, like, I just consider... It's not as bad as Jack the Lost Frontier, which is, like, ten times worse. Because Sly 4 had some cool ideas and looked pretty good. Lost Frontier is just one out of ten garbage. But, uh, it's... <laughs> the boss fights suck. You're Sly 90% of the time, so, like, the other characters just feel like gimmicks. Some more information. The Sly ancestors are, are just Sly with off. one extra power that's well, totally conditionally used. It's like, it's not garbage. Orbit. It's not like, it out, or he'll be able to it's not the worst just because... Like, it does look good. I do like kind of the free-roaming... Like, the combat they made worse for some reason. Just because... Like, one punch and you knock guys out of the rest of the combo range. That's annoying as hell. But, like, it has good ideas. Like, legitimately. It's just the execution is, is horrendous. And, like, like... like you know, part of why I like 1 and 2 is just because Clockwork's a good villain. And Dr. M has flaws, but it's at least... I can get behind it. Like, the paradox just sucks. And, and yeah, they left us on a cliffhanger. Cause, and we're never going to get it resolved. I mean, Sucker Punch made Ghost of Tsushima. I don't think they care. I don't think they're interested in resolving it at this point. But, like... Yeah, and, and also, just because 3 felt like... Like, that's almost like the good ending, because, like, Sly and Carmelita end up together. And then now you had to undo it, and then... I actually didn't mind the whole Penelope thing. Like, people... I know people hated it. But, like... I don't know. She, like, that way... I just didn't like her character in 3. It just felt very generic. Like, generic nerdy girl, who's, like, kind of into Sly, but also into Bentley. At least in this game, they made her, like, you know... They did something different. The thing I hated is just, like, her excuse for... Well, there's two things. Number one... I don't like... How... I don't like her excuse for going evil. Where it's just, like, you know, we could have made billions in weapons tech. Because... Oh, wait, that's a... Okay. You know, like, that's lame. Like, how many... How many movies have that... Has that been the villain? A private military guy who wants to make money in weapons tech. Like, that's... It, you couldn't get more generic if you tried. So there's that. And then number two, like... They set it up beforehand that her and Bentley are, like, equals. Like, equal smart. Maybe Bentley's a little smarter. And then he can't get a time machine that's as good as hers. Like, hers is perfect. You just plug it in and you go. And his, you need, like, other stuff to do it. And they never really explain that. We aren't spoiling... It, like, yeah, you, I'll spoil Sly 4 for most of it. 
Three, I'll leave you. Three, I'll, I'll leave you. Th that's a good game to experience. Four, you don't need to. You don't need to be seeing any of that on this with your precious limited time on this earth. And the other thing too I hated is all right, the paradox. Like he, his whole thing is he goes back in time and he like takes the cane of the ancestor and takes over that time period. Which, number one, it makes you feel... Oh, yeah, oh, yeah Bob, I hated that. Because that's a retcon, because originally it was the, the guy in Egypt who started the Coopers. But, like, um... So he takes over, like, the time period, and then Sly at the end says, like, Well, A, you didn't do it. Your minions did it, correct. It's very Craven and Spider-Man 2. Like, you're not hunting me, your minions are. And number two, it's like... You know, like, of course you did, because you have modern technology, and they're in the 1600s. It makes you feel kind of bad as a player, too, though, because it just makes you feel like all of Sly's ancestors are kind of wimps, because they always get taken over. But then the funny part, too, about it, too, is at the end, he basically tells the paradox all this. And he has this moment of, like, yeah, you know, you're right, but I don't care, and they fight anyway. It's so, like, badly written. And yeah, the caveman one was weird. I didn't like that level at all. With the rapping grizzly bear boss. How many things, like, alright, unless you are like, got like a professional rapper. If they got like MF Doom to be that, I would be like, alright, that's amazing. <laughs> if like, how many, gene how many times has generic rapping improved a product? As I expected, Rajan is out for his daily tour of the operation. My sources claim he always carries three blueprints on him, which, when read together, tell you everything about his spice operation. Too bad he doesn't have that section of the clockwork heart we saw during the recon. You could just pump him full of sleep darts and we could all go home. Unfortunately, my sleep darts aren't powerful enough to affect Rajan. Oh, how convenient. What? How are you going to get at those blueprints? Rajan has an insatiable appetite for Indian watermelons, which... If eaten whole, will force even him to nod off for a while. Imagine eating an entire watermelon in one setting. Creep in and lift the blueprints. Well, that's fine and all, but how do you plan on luring him over to the watermelons? I've equipped my sleep darts with a sonic disruptor. <laughs> the strange sounds they make should be enough to lead the ever curious Rajan from place. If someone doesn't even like watermelon, or even watermelon like flavored candy and shit. But whoop. I also like how Bentley, like, his sleep darts are funny because he'll introduce some function to them. And then, like, it's, like, single use. Like, in the next level, there's that part where it's like, oh, if I hit her with my sleep darts, I can listen into what Contessa's saying. It's like, well, why don't you just do that now? Then you can hear him. This level, when I was, like, a kid, this level used to drive me crazy. He's got, it's got, like, a Black Ops sniper level range. And then when he sees you, he says, like, a, a viper in the grass, and then he jumps away. And that, that line is burned into my head. Go get it! Get the thing! He's eating two bites, too. Pretty good. There he, there he went. <laughs> his eyes were open. <laughs> Look closely, his eyes were open. Now, let me see. I gotta go. Where's the third one? It's over... Oh, they're over there. Oh, my God. Think about how many times this would have been useful.
Eat it. Eat the thing. Can any if anybody in India is watching, can you confirm that this is what goes on? Like they're just watermelons that'll knock you on your ass if you eat one of them. Narcolepsy watermelon. Oh crap. That could have gone bad. What? The blueprints. They have been stolen. That's the complete set of blueprints. Great field work, Bentley. You're really getting the hang of this. Okay, where are you? I think that's it for. See, like even getting back to the safe house is a pain in the ass. You got to go here. Okay. And he's gotta keep. Oh my God! Stop! Stop! Where? What? Stop! Oh <laughs> Jesus! God, I hate this level so much. Oh, jumpy jump up! What the hell? Oh my God! Just preposterous. Where do I go now? Oh, this level, I hate it. This might be my least favorite individual mission in the game coming up. Yeah, yeah, I hate this one. So yeah, there's this bug, literal, literally a, a bug, an insect. And, uh, you got to basically, like, trans- you gotta get it into Rajan's office. The problem comes when this thing makes a really loud noise. And, like, you could drop it in these pools to, like, cool it off, but it's better to just do a straight shot run through. Let me get this straight. We're gonna bug Rajan's office with a bug? It is an elegant plan, I agree. Now pay attention. That water bug can only survive in stagnant pools. If kept out of water too long, it'll become unhappy and likely draw the attention of local guards. Hmm. Looks like there's a few pools along the way to Rajan's office. A short swim every now and then should keep- Okay, if, you, if you're wearing headphones legitimately, I would take him out for this part, because I'm not going to do... Those pools are really inconvenient. I'm just going to do, like, a straight run through. And it's going to make a really annoying noise. Yep, there it is. Oh, actually, there's one, there's one here that looks... This one looks okay. This one looks reasonable. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, this was not the intended route. This was just through years of figuring out where the hell to go. Thank you. 
Freeing the elephant. Is that- that can't- no, wait. Okay, yeah, never mind. I was gonna say, is that like... That's not like a reference to Cage the Elephant, who I guarantee weren't even a band at this point. It would be funny if it was, if this game predicted Cage the Elephant. Hilarity would ensue. Uh... Get away! Don't stand so close to me! There we go. Rajan is able to monitor all of our communications out here with that elephant-driven satellite array. That's pretty grim. You got a plan for shutting it down? Don't I always? Now, the local spice plants are illegal for good reason. Eat too many, and you'll go into a fit of uncontrolled rage. Keep that stuff away from Murray. Oh, wait, wait, I get it. I put some spice plants in the elephant's feed bag. He chows down, gets all crazy, and then presto, the satellite's in pieces. A crude interpretation of the plan, but accurate. The trick here is harvesting the spice plants. Remember this You'll for later in the game, the spice the lighting, thing. As they only grow high up in the jungle canopy. How do I get it? was like a big tree. I think it's that one. With like a bunch of vines coming out of it. Bottle. Get. I think it's this one. Excuse me, I think it's this one. Guards everywhere, too, in this level. Yep, this is it. Did I miss one? No, I didn't miss one, did I? Yeah, I did. It's over there. Or do I not use this to get over there? No, I don't use this. Yeah, this is a pain in the rear end. I don't think I should have done that. Okay, can't go there. Leap of faith. Made it. Where'd he go? There's a guy there. Where'd he go? Glitch. Glitch up there. Damn it. That's gonna piss me off. Ah, oh, come on. Mate, oh, mate, oh, no. <laughs> it's such a good, it's so overpowered. It's so broken. 
I, I, am I really gonna go back and do all that for one bottle? Of course I am. You bet you're whatever the fuck. Will the Ravens get a big running back? I don't know, maybe. Like, Eric DaCosta said at the combine, and John Harbaugh kind of also implied that, like, they're not going to spend a ton of money. Like, it's probably going to be just retaining all their internal free agents once the whole Justin Matabike thing gets resolved. So they're probably going to pay Matabike, maybe get, like, uh, probably Clowny back. Whoa, that was weird. That was a glitch. And then, I don't know, like, they did say they're interested in, like, not the, outright, but, like, they are interested in, like, you know, Barkley and Pollard and uh, Derrick Henry and guys like that. But, from what I understand, it's they gotta, like, they gotta hit the, they gotta make dollars and cents, not just cents. And, uh, I think that, like, they probably pay a good amount of money because any running back's going to have improved production alongside Lamar Jackson. And, you know, Gus Edwards, they obviously didn't feel like they could probably win anything with, with Edwards because they didn't use him in the playoffs that much. But he also, DaCosta, oh my God. He also said that he um, is big on continuity and wants to retain a lot of his free agents, so... I think it'll. I like. I don't think they're gonna run it back. Like they talked about bringing Edwards and Dobbins back. I don't think they do that. I think they get somebody else. Maybe Edwards and like another rookie or something. And then it'll be Henry, Keaton Mitchell, and Justice Hill. Maybe I think will probably be the backfield. It's like Lamar Jackson can just make like you know he. It's almost like having a quarterback and a running back in one because of how effective he is, but, you know, he can't do, can't do everything. They might have to cut a guy. Like, I, I know Ronnie Stanley. I'm going to write no. I've, I've said that, like, they should probably cut Ronnie Stanley. I go back and forth all the time on that because he's a you know, all-pro, Pro Bowl player in the past. He's still okay, like a solid starter when he's playing, but even that's becoming less frequent now because of his age. So, I just don't know, you know, will they put up with it, but also will they put up with replacing four of your five offensive linemen potentially in a year where it's almost championship or bust. I don't think they do that either. The picture isn't fitted right. There's bars on the side of the screen. I know. It's it's the port. The port's really bad. Not really bad. Port's not really bad. Port is pretty good in that aspect. It's not very good. They could have done better. That one's glitching out. He's not moving. Where is this last one? I feel like I've been sliding on vines. Ages. I also respect Sly 3 because they did not have a jungle or swamp level. I feel like all the other ones have either jungles or swamps at some point. Where even 
is this thing? Oh, I, oh my god, how far away am I going? Oh my god. Get. I think there's one here. Nope. Whoa! -ho -ho! Are they under here? No. I don't know. I at least want to. Uh, you just because I seek them. They call me the Seeker. I've been searching low and high. I have to get one of them after till the day I die. Oh, it's probably up there, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll find it later, I guess. Sayonara, satellite array. some bad news. Rajan has gone into hiding somewhere in the temple. I guess the destruction of his satellite array and my invasion of his personal space to get the blueprint spooked him. To get his portion of the clockwork heart, we'll need to drive him out into the open. Given Rajan's spy-saddled temper, I'd recommend making him angry. First, we'll destroy the center of his operation, the Spice Grinder. Then we'll demolish the dam above the temple in an attempt to flood him out. If that doesn't work, I've made arrangements to exchange one of the temple's facade rubies for some high explosives, which, if necessary, we can use to flood the whole temple grotto. If my psychological profile is accurate, Rajan should pick up the other half of the clockwork heart before making his escape. Effectively bringing it to us. Okay, I think I'm going to call it here, actually. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Pretty fun stream. Got some nice participation. And uh, I want to see you guys in the next video.